Hello, everyone. Welcome to English class. We hope that you're ready as we are to start learning and have fun. Always remember, in English, you're the best. Welcome, students. I hope everyone's doing great. For this week, we will learn about analyzing literature as a mirror to a shared heritage of people with diverse backgrounds. Here are the objectives. First, determine the heritage of people with diverse backgrounds. Second, analyze literature as a mirror to a shared heritage of people with diverse backgrounds. Before we begin, I want you to share what you have learned from our previous lesson. That's great! You have learned about different issues such as social, political, economic, and moral. You have learned how to determine different issues by listening to a text. And you have also learned that social issues concerned everyone regardless of age. This time, let's complete the following items with a missing term. Choose the best answer. Number 1. Refers to writings in which expression and form, in connection with ideas of permanent and universal interest, are characteristic or essential features such as poetry, novels, history, biography, and essays. A. Literature B. Appreciate C. Shared Number 2 refers to various kinds or forms or multi-form. A. Heritage B. People C. Diverse Number 3 refers to a reflecting surface originally of polished metal but now usually of glass with a silvery, metallic, or amalgam backing. A. Mirror B. Heritage C. Literature Number 4. Refers to persons indefinitely or collectively, persons in general. A. Appreciate B. People C. Shared Number 5. Refers to something that is handed down from the past as a tradition. A. Diverse B. Heritage C. People Now take a look at these pictures. What did you notice in the pictures? Can you see some connections? In this lesson, you will learn about literature as a mirror to a shared heritage of people with diverse backgrounds. Now let's think about this. Can you imagine the world without short stories, novels, poems, and essays? Can you imagine the world without movies and songs? What do you think life would be? What do you think men do instead of writing stories, composing or singing songs, or watching movies? Would there have been another things men might have resorted to do instead? What could these things be?
Reading and writing are two wonderful things man has learned to do. We get a lot from reading and writing. People shared these learnings to other people with diverse background through literature. Then what is literature? Literature is a collection of written work, but it is also used more narrowly for writing specifically considered to be an art form, especially prose fiction, drama, and poetry. It is derived from Latin literatura or literatura which means writing form with letters, although some definitions include spoken or sung text. What is heritage? Heritage is the background from which one comes or any sort of inherited property or goods. It is a person's unique inherited sense of family identity, the values, traditions, culture, and artifacts handed down by previous generations. What is diverse background? Diverse background means differing from one another with different interests and culture. It can also refer to such things as your social and racial origins, your financial status, or the type of work experience that you have. Why is literature a mirror of shared heritage of people with diverse backgrounds? Whenever we stand in front of a mirror, we see a reflection. Whenever we read a piece of literary work, we see the reflection of the heritage of the group of people its author belongs to, or of the group of people he or she is writing about, the people's culture, customs, traditions, and beliefs, which might be different from yours. Why is it important for us to learn that literature reflects shared heritage of people with diverse background? First, to understand people's culture, customs, beliefs, and traditions. Second, to understand that we are different from one another. And third, to understand that we need to respect other people and what makes them different from us as well. This time, let's see how in a story, literature becomes a mirror to a shared heritage of people with diverse backgrounds. Now let us read the story of Makato and the Cowrie Shell. The Story of Makato and the Cowrie Shell Let's answer the following questions based on the story of Makato. Number 1. Who is Makato in the story? Correct! Makato was an orphan. When he was very young, his father and mother had died. He didn't have any brothers, sisters, cousins, or friends to look after him. So he had to make a living for himself. He did all manner of work, carry heavy things, clear the forest, or feed pigs. Number 2. What is Makato's dream for his future? Very good! He wanted to try his luck in mysterious far-off countries as he pursued exciting adventures. He wanted to go on an adventure trip. Number 3. How did Makato impress the King Bra Ruang? You're right! He used the king's scary shell as a currency for purchasing the lettuce seeds. Makato grow lettuce and King Pra Ruang was impressed. For our next activity, 
draw a thumbs up if the sentence is right and thumbs down if it is not. Number 1. Literature is derived from the Latin word literatura. Number 2. Literature has not affected our way of living in our life. Number 3. Heritage refers to such things as your social and racial origins. Number 4. Literature most commonly refers to works of creative imagination, including poetry, drama, fiction, nonfiction, journalism, and in some instances, song. Number 5. We all have different experiences. Through literature, we can share our cultures and traditions to others. Now let's check your answers. Amazing learners! Try this one. Using a Venn diagram, compare yourself to Makato. Let me share to you this quotation by Voltaire. Appreciation is a wonderful thing. It makes what is excellent in others belong to us as well. This time, make an acronym for your chosen word that will encourage others to be advocate of positivity. Example, grateful, glad, responsible, accept, thoughtful, encouraging, faithful, understanding, loving. In addition, write down three things you have remembered two examples of what you have learned, and one question you have about the lesson. For our final activity, write true if the statement is correct and false if it is not. Number 1. Literature has been part of many different cultures for a long time. Number 2. Literature is derived from the Latin literatura, which means writing form with letters. Number 3. Literature does not reflect the ideas and the feelings or emotions of the author. Number 4. Literature is an example of a way to express oneself through writing. And number 5. We cannot use literature to become one with others and understand them even deeper from them. Let's check your answers. Before we end our lesson, don't forget to write a reflection. How do you appreciate the literature? Write it in your e-journal. Thank you for joining today's class. I hope that you learned something from our discussion. Always remember, in English, you're the best.